If you're going out to participate in a protest within the United States, then you should know your rights when it comes to the information that's stored on your smartphone. Today, I'm going to highlight a feature called lockdown mode that everyone should be aware of. I'm going to show you how to enable it on a majority of Android smartphones out there. And then we'll discuss why you should be enabling this feature before you are going to be a part of one of those protests. That way, you know exactly how to keep your data protected and the police will not be able to force you to unlock your phone. Lockdown mode is a special feature included on most Android smartphones and tablets these days that, when enabled, will help you to lock your personal information down by disabling biometric unlock methods, deactivating smart lock, and hiding all of your notifications from the lock screen. Using a pin, pattern, or a password to unlock your phone is considered to be one of the most secure methods available to us. And that's why Android will require you to set one of these up, even if you are choosing to use your fingerprint or face to unlock the device. Many of us these days recognize this convenience and we are using our face, eyes, or fingerprint to unlock our phones. But did you know that the police in the United States can force you to place your thumb or finger on your phone to try and unlock it? And did you know that they could force you to open your eyes and keep your head still so they can try to leverage the face unlock feature? But current laws have protected people from having to give the authorities our pin, pattern, or password. So instead of having to manually disable your biometric unlock features in those situations, you can simply enable the lockdown mode feature instead. This is something that can be useful to just about everyone before you head to a protest or when you get pulled over or when you just have to interact with an authority figure in general. Enabling lockdown mode on Android can be different depending on which phone you have. For example, if you own a Google Pixel smartphone or tablet, then you'll notice the feature is easily accessible without you having to mess with any settings. You simply need to bring up the power menu and you should see the lockdown button as an option here. On the other hand, if you're using a Samsung Galaxy device, then you won't see that lockdown button by default. Instead, you'll first need to dive into the settings application. Then from here, you're gonna scroll down a little bit and tap onto the lock screen and AOD option. And then as long as you have a pin pattern or password set up, you're gonna have access to this secure lock settings feature. And from here, you will see an option labeled show lockdown mode option. It's gonna be a toggle that is disabled by default, but a single tap will add that lockdown mode button to your power menu on all Samsung Galaxy smartphones and tablets. For Android devices manufactured by other companies, you may need to hunt for that lockdown option manually. The lock screen menu within the settings application is a good place to start, but you can also search for the word lockdown from the top of the settings application like you always can. However, some devices like those from the company Xiaomi that are using MIUI and HyperOS, they will not have access to a dedicated lockdown mode feature. Instead, 
your best bet is to reboot the phone before you end up having to deal with any authority figures. Rebooting Android has a similar effect to lockdown mode, as it will require you to enter your PIN, pattern, or password before showing you any notifications, and it will not let you use any of the biometric unlock features until you unlock the phone for that first time. Some will say that it's not really a full replacement, but for others, it will be the best bet that you have if the smartphone that you own does not have a dedicated lockdown feature. It was really surprising to a lot of us here in the United States when the courts started forcing people to unlock their phones with a registered fingerprint or a facial scan. But precedent has kept our PIN, pattern, and passwords safe as authorities are not supposed to be able to force you to give that information over. This divide started to become more widely accepted during the Obama administration, but it has continued to be solidified during the Biden and Trump administration. We don't know how things will change in the future, but for now, it's going to be a really good idea to use that lockdown mode feature on Android anytime you think that your data may be at risk from authority figures or even just some nosy roommates. Alternatively, a quick reboot should also trigger some protections for those of you who do not have the lockdown mode feature on their phone with some even saying that rebooting your phone provides even more protections since it will also wipe the contents of your RAM. Now, I would be curious to learn which phone you have as a daily driver and if it has access to a lockdown mode feature or not. And please, do not forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't done so already.